you um, have to reach out and gather in some more sponsoring partners? Or I did. Who are your partners? Well, we've kind of recovered some of our our partners that we had before. Uh, this year I reached out to them and uh, we did a collaboration with the health department, which is now the Southeast Health District. Correct. And the city of Douglas, I have to make sure I get everybody's names correct. Uh, but the city of Douglas has always given us the, uh, the gymnasium. And this year we got together with Stevie and Gina and with the health department. And uh, actually the health department was going to do a safety day in September mm -hmm. and I spoke with them said let's get all of our events put together as one event rather than having so many of these little small events right. let's put them together and let's make this make sense for the entire community everybody can come out the same day and get everything from one event rather than having a dozen little small events mm -hmm. because most of us have tons of things to do on our weekend so we try to just collaborate together and bring more to the community all in one day. Right, yeah. So um, what type of screenings will you have this year besides the blo blood profile? Okay, so we have our typical blood profile for mm -hmm. 30 bucks, and then the Wellness Center, we always do a biometric screening, which would include height, weight, blood pressure, body fat, uh, hip to waist ratios, uh, which is related to heart disease, and sit and reach, and we do a little strength test, uh, all of it, which is very easy to do. We'll also have screenings from Fitzgerald Eye. They'll be doing uh, the vision screen. That's just a very simple vision screen. The Georgia Skin Cancer Clinic will be doing skin cancer screenings. Then we'll have the Therapy Tree who will be doing speech screenings for children. Oh, you know, good. one of the things that we have with our, our small kids is um, you know, a variety of different speech problems. So they'll be there and it's a free service they're gonna be offering just to check kids out. Um, the health department is going to get flu shots, which there is a $25 fee. Go ahead and get your flu shot. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone's going ahead and doing that. And I think they said they may take some insurances, but I'm not sure. Yeah, but go ahead and pay that $25 yep. because if you get the flu, it's going to cost you a lot more. It's going to cost <laughs> you a lot more than $25 time off from work, sickness, kids may right. get it, etc. Um, and then we're going to have a, a breathing test, a lung function COPD lung test. And then Douglas Vascular Center will be doing a peripheral vascular disease screening on the legs. So they'll look at your legs and go, um, you may not look too healthy. We need to bring you in for a consultation. So they'll be screening for a vascular disease in the legs. And then Autobell will be doing hearing screens. Um, and I think we're going to have a couple more screenings. I'm just waiting to hear from those vendors to come out that day um, or call me actually and tell me they're... 100% sure. So we have other screenings that will be there and be available to the community. All of these things are, are great opportunities for the community, uh, you know, whereas it would cost you 100 bucks to go to the doctor. Right. These are very simple screenings, but they're very effective in identifying health problems. Mm -hmm. And there is, um, like you mentioned, the uh, flu shots, there's a $25 fee for that. It's $30 for the blood work, and then there's like a little small dollar admission. Oh yeah, I forgot about the $1 admission. Uh, yes, there is a $1 admission to get in the door. Um, and basically that just helps cover some of the cost of the event. Right. And everything else is fairly, pretty much sponsored by Coffee Regional City of Douglas and the health department will be sponsoring along with all the vendors who choose to be there. Right. Okay. Um, what um, type of vendors do you look forward to seeing this year? Are there any new ones or some that's just unordinary? Or Well, I wouldn't say unordinary, mm -hmm. but one of the things that we're going to do this year uh, with the health department is doing more safety checks. And the health department, along with the Georgia State Troopers, we're going to have a pull through where you'll be able to drive through one of the one of the entryways, and you'll pull through. And they're going to do a, a car seat check. So they're they're going to check to see are your car seats set up correctly and it's safe for your child. And it's going to be a free screen. That's something new that we haven't really done too much with before. It's very important. And it's very important. Yeah. <laughs> it's free to the community. Everyone needs to come in, especially if you have small children. I have a four month old, soon to be five months. So. You know, it's, it is something important. Did I set this up correctly? You know, right. because, and the packages, they give you a million different directions of how to set it up. And <laughs> I've seen anything from roll and towel and languages. And, languages <laughs> and you, you, what do you know? Nothing. And heaven forbid something were to happen and, and, you know, just in that parent mode, wondering what you could have done. As long as you know that you have that seat in there correctly, mm -hmm. maybe that'll give a little bit of peace of mind. I think it's going to give you a lot of peace of mind. And then, of course, we're, we're going to have other vendors there. Coffee Regional will be there, um, the Ankle Foot and Associates, Georgia Partnership for Telehealth. 
Now, the Georgia Partnership for Telehealth is a great opportunity for children. Uh, the telehealth department at, I believe it's at the Coffee Middle School, I may be wrong, but mm -hmm. uh, if you come that day and you bring your child and you get registered for the telehealth program at the school, which is, is basically a doctor seeing your child over a computer screen, but anyways, uh, they're giving away any parent who registers your child, they're gonna, your, your name's going to put in a drawing to win a Yeti cooler. So that's pretty <laughs> neat that they're going to offer such a, uh, a great... That's a big door prize. A yeah. big door <laughs> prize, and everybody loves Yeti coolers. Mm -hmm. They are fantastic. And so they're going to be doing things with that. And, and you know, it's, it's a great opportunity for kids to actually get some, um, some help in different areas where it's needed. And telemedicine is a good place to start. Um, we're also going to have... Uh, well, Southeastern Health District is going to provide us... Uh, sleep safe, the car seat safety, breastfeeding, WIC, emergency preparedness, um, and then the supporting sisters with the breastfeeding, uh, they're going to be there to discuss that. I think breastfeeding is an important thing mm -hmm. that a lot of our community really doesn't know a lot about. Um, so, and, and that's something very important. I have found out even with me having an infant is uh, the breastfeeding really does help the child produce a better immune system. Their, Katie has not been as sick as a lot of and we have her in daycare mm -hmm. you know so we've noticed that and maybe it's just our child right but i think that it is important that you learn about that and it's important that you do it and now we do uh you know have formula as well but i think that this is part of the reason why she hasn't had a lot of the virus when i had strep throat she did not get it you know i mean we were very lucky mm -hmm. and she was around me i didn't even know i had strep throat you know mm -hmm. so I think that's an important well, thing. Well, Douglas is a, a breastfeeding friendly community, it too, is. so that helps. It is. So we want people to come out and take part in what they're offering. Um, Fender Goggins will be there, the Children's Advocacy Center, Beta Sigma Phi will be there for Passionately Pink mm -hmm. Day. They're always there. They do a great job in promoting our Passionately Pink Month, which is October. Um, we have Wiregrass, South Georgia State College. I mean, we have tons of vendors that's going to be there to promote different things to the community from just basic education to health, the wellness. Um, so uh, it's a lot going on in. It sounds like it's growing. In one morning, yeah. Right, and, and it takes place from what time to It what takes 8.30 to 12.30. Mm -hmm. um, I've extended the hours just a tiny bit. To, but we also are gonna have educational classes that mm -hmm. day too. Uh, something that we have never had before and I'm excited about it and I hope people will actually come out and take um, part in that just so the community knows what we're going to offer. Uh, you don't have to sign up for it, but you know we're going to have one called Food Talk. I'm not sure if you heard Food Talk in the community. Mm -hmm. um, Debbie Henley with SNAP Education Program is part of the UGA. She's going to be talking about the six different lessons on eating healthy and taking care of yourself. So that's one class we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to have a lady out of Savannah. She's coming to do a stroke education class. Understanding if you have family history or risk for stroke right. and you have high blood pressure, this is a great class to come and sit down and listen to to understand more about stroke prevention, mm -hmm. the signs of a stroke, what you're going to be facing. And women are really they're like the silent victims or, or I think isn't that what it's called I mean that because because women really don't recognize the signs so that would mm -hmm. be something good and for I, women to take part in. I think most definitely as well as we're gonna have a heart attack care program too oh okay uh, the hospital is going through um, a chest pain clinic and they have to uh, go through several different stages to have this uh, this program uh, Julie Peterson with the cath lab at the hospital is going to be presenting education on heart attack care program understanding the signs and symptoms of heart attack what to expect and then what we're doing is we're also collaborating with our education department at the hospital and we're offering what's called a hands only CPR it's the new way you do CPR oh, and wow. if you're not familiar with that you <laughs> need to come and practice on our mannequins and understand how to actually do it so if you have a loved one um, whether it's a senior, older, it can be a younger person because we're seeing everyone in cardiac rehab from, right. you know, twenties on up. Mm -hmm. But um, do you know how to do CPR correctly? And we've attached those two classes with early signs of heart attack with the CPR uh, hands-only class. We want you to be able to understand what's going on, what do you do, how do you do it, and it's going to prepare you in case there is ever an event in your household or 
if you're at a family reunion or just grandma's house on Sunday, which is us. Yeah. Um, you know, so I think that's a great class that we're going to offer. Then we're going to have the uh, child passenger safety class. And we're going to have a life insurance, what do you really know about life insurance, understanding about how to prepare for retirement, understanding what life insurance, understanding financial uh, planning for the future. So I think that's important. We are also working on having a diabetes education class that day, too. That would be good. Uh, mm -hmm. I think, you know, that would be a good along with the Food Talk program, which we're going to offer. Right. So, I mean, these classes, um, you can find us on Facebook at the Wellness Center. I think all of our information is going out. Of course, Johnny will have this here, too. But all of these classes will be in the newspaper. Uh, we're going to publish these so that you'll know when the classes are, time and location. But we're going to have them all at the Central Square Complex in the different classrooms, uh, partly in the Teen Center, mm -hmm. uh, the Magnolia Room, and the Dogwood Room, Dogwood room <laughs> which will want to have a blood work in it, and the other one will have education classes in it. And then we'll have the screenings also set up in the in a similar location too. Okay. Well, it sounds like y'all do have a lot of new activities taking place this year. And, and it has definitely grown from the last time I was working with y'all and, and we were working on everything. But um, I'm glad to know that y'all still have the blood profile because that's something that a lot of people, you know, still financially can't afford. Oh, so if you come out, $30 expensive. is, yeah, is a minimum amount to pay for what you get. Yep. Um, tell me, with everything going on inside, are y'all going to have anything going on outside? Anything Absolutely. For kids or? I'm glad you brought that up. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to have outdoor activities for children. Um, this is also something new that we've not done before. Uh, of course, I've already mentioned the car seat safety check with the Georgia State Troopers and the Health Department. We'll have a jump castle there, uh, balloons, art. Um, the city of Douglas and the county will have fire trucks there for the kids to come and check out that day. Um, we'll have the firehouse simulator. What is it like to be in a house that's, I'm assuming, I don't know what all they it's do, I guess. You know, I, I really only think I need to stop, draw, and roll, but yeah. uh, hopefully they're going to teach us something. Or get out. Get out, run. <laughs> that's my thoughts. Right. Uh, the heat cars will be there. Uh, they're going to have a crime scene vehicle. And supposedly, a, what a crime scene looks like, it outlined in chalk, this is all for educational for kids. Right. Of course, I assume some of us adults could learn it too. Yes. Um, police cars, ambulance, the rollover simulator. Now, what is that? Is that like a car rolling over? Or? I believe so. Okay. I just, it's a simulator and I hope we're not in it. That's the big <laughs> thing. Uh, we'll have uh, McGruff, the fire dog. Um, uh, amongst other ones that kids can come out and have pictures taken with the different characters that will be floating around. We also have one blood outside. Uh, one blood, if you want to come out and make a donation that day, they're going to give everyone a free t-shirt with a donation. Okay. So that's a great opportunity to come and get your free shirt with it a little is. bit of blood. Mm -hmm. You know, and we are in October. So, right. You know, <laughs> it's kind of Halloweenish, but we'll have other <laughs> activities uh, going on that that day uh, with for the kids because we want families to also feel like they can uh, bring their children out while they do one thing they we're going to have it roped off outside and we'll have adult supervision and people watching outside making sure that the kids are safe yes so okay that sounds like a great plan i mean and once again tell us the location date time where do we need to be okay october the first it's on a saturday saturday mm -hmm. two saturdays from now it will be from 8 30 to 12 30 central square complex You'll walk through the first gym be in the lobby, and there you will have a, a little $1 ticket sale, and right. you're done. And you can have, you'll, you'll receive a little uh, a paper with all the different vendors along with the blood work. So you want to take that back if you're having the blood work done. And just FYI, make sure that you fast 8 to 12 hours before you actually come and have your blood work done. We want to make sure that you're fasting so that if you do have it, and you're doing it for the purpose of insurance mm -hmm. that you are the best that you can be <laughs> oh yeah yeah and also if if somebody's diabetic do they need to let you know like will yes. they be able to move up ahead of the line yes yeah mm -hmm. if you are a diabetic please let us know we move all of our top uh top one and two diabetics up to the front of the line so they can have it done quicker and then get the food that they need to bring their sugar levels back up right 
Okay. Well, definitely they need to do that because we don't want anybody no, you know, no. to fall out on us at the health barrier. No, we do, we do not. <laughs> uh, even though we have an ambulance there, we do not right. want anybody we don't to want fall anything out. Like no. that. Um, so uh, it's Community Health and Wellness Day, and it sounds like y'all are going to have